Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for providing me this opportunity to speak to you this morning. Um, I'm going to be presenting a study that we've conducted, a systematic review and meta-analysis of the effectiveness of colorectal cancer tumor boards. Uh, it's a step away from the clinical side that we've been seeing so far, um, but hopefully it will interest you for the next, uh, next five minutes. Uh, no uh, nothing to declare from myself or my co-presenters, co-authors. The aim of this study was to identify the available literature on multidisciplinary team working on colorectal cancer. Uh, why colorectal cancer is on the increase, it's the third most common cancer. These statistics are from 2008. However, it has the fourth highest cancer mortality globally in 2012. It's an increasing problem. We're getting better at diagnosing it, and we're getting better at, at uh, treating it. There have been recent changes to multidisciplinary care. When I say recent, we refer to the last 20 to 30 years. The rationale to that being that involving more people uh, improves patient care. Now, I'll just take a step back and give you a slight distinction between tumor boards as they are in the United States and multidisciplinary treatment care teams uh, as they are uh, across, uh, across the world. Um, um, in a case in point, the United Kingdom where, where, this, um, where this study is based. However, the, the, the key in both these groups is the fact that they both include, uh, they are both aimed at a treatment planning approach with a number of specialist doctors or experts in their fields to review and discuss the medical condition and treatment options available to a patient. Uh, they form part of the uh, government guidelines in uh, numerous countries in the United Kingdom. The National Institute of Clinical Excellence advocates their use in all cancer care. And they, are f they form part of the American College of Surgeons Cancer Program Standards for Accreditation, uh, as well as the National Cancer Services Standard Framework in Australia and elsewhere across the globe. There is a problem, though, with multidisciplinary teams and tumor board reviews in that there are assumptions that teams are better than individuals. However, there isn't any specific evidence in this area. There's very limited data. As a result, there are no standardized models. There's huge variation in the composition of these teams as well as how they function. The key issue that has been raised num numerous times is there have been significant changes and advances in the management of colorectal cancer over the same time, and therefore it becomes difficult in assessing and attributing improvements in outcomes to multidisciplinary teams uh, themselves. What we did was carry out a systematic search, search of Embase, Medline, PsycInfo, and the Cochrane, Cochrane Library using words uh, and derivatives of colorectal, cancer, and multidisciplinary uh, teams. Uh, we also reference, uh, hand searched all the references of the papers that we, um, that we identified. We extracted data on the country in which studies were undertaken, the population size, patient and healthcare professional characteristics, the setting of the tumor board, as well as the, the design, the objectives, and the findings of the study. We went ahead and split our studies into three different groups, those that presented data on tumor boards running and implementation, those that presented data on their impact on pretreatment decisions, and finally, their impact on patient outcomes, which is probably of most interest. We identified 26 articles from eight countries, Initially, 24 from the search criteria and a further two articles from hand searching of, uh, of references. Uh, this is a summary slide of the uh, extraction process. The results, we identified that not all hospitals had weekly multidisciplinary teams, despite uh, numerous national guidelines suggesting that this should be the case. A number of them de described problems with organization and the absence of a coordinator in these, uh, in these cases was a, was a key factor. Attendance of core members was variable. However, clinicians that did attend them found them very useful and, and provided a source of improved job satisfaction. Uh, distinction between European studies and studies across the rest of the world uh, highlighted a key difference in that not all patients were discussed at multidisciplinary teams. Uh, reported data suggested that there were significant changes to original treatment decisions, and that generally stemmed from differences in staging, uh, changes in the staging of patients. Uh, there were reports of improved survival and decreased rates of positive resection margins and tumor recurrence, and I'll come to that further. However, major limitations quoted by a number of the papers was that they identified that concurrent changes in cancer care made it difficult to attribute improvements to simply the introduction of tumor boards. And finally, there were no randomized trials that we identified. A summary of the meta-analysis, we identified papers where, which presented similar data on three different areas. The use of MRI or transrectal ultrasound in staging in rectal cancer, which is seen as the gold standard. And the introduction of tumor boards identified an increase in the use of, uh, of uh, MRI or transrectal ultrasound to the, odd, to the favor of about seven times. There was an improvement in the occurrence of positive resection margins. These dropped by 
uh, uh, with an odds ratio of 0.3. And finally, an improvement in over three year overall survival, which, uh, uh, which improved over the study period, or over the time for, from the studies. Conclusions. Early involvement of the multidisciplinary team and discussion of patients at tumor board meetings, it may be an optimal strategy for delivering cancer care in the 21st century. Uh, however, a large, a large amount of work is required on standardization and assessment. And if you're here later on, I'm presenting a further paper in, uh, at, at 11.30 on, on one of those themes. Thank you very much for your time. This paper is open for discussion. Um, do you think that it's the multidisciplinary tumor board itself that makes these changes, or is it the fact that multidisciplinary tumor boards often occur in institutions that, you know, have a significant interest in the management of cancer patients, often, you know, at the cutting edge and with the best technology, so that, you know, at least in my mind, it may not, you know, it may be that you know, if you're doing proper staging, if you have all of the different uh, components in place with radiation oncology, medical oncology, et cetera, um, maybe it's not the tumor board, but maybe it's just the overall system in which the tumor board occurs. I don't know if you could abstract that from what you did or not. Sure. Thank you very much for the question. It's an excellent question. It kind of highlights the issue with multidisciplinary teams in that you're trying to establish whether the effect is the effect of the team or the effect of people that make up the team. Two, two kind of points to the answer. One is that if improvements do occur because of restaging, because of improvements in, in the individuals that are part of the team, um, then that in itself is to some extent uh, an effect of the team working together. There are some studies that highlight uh, changes in, uh, I'll, I'll take staging as an example, radiological staging done by individual radiologists. Um, the staging is changed following discussion by a group. So more than one radiologist has been shown to, to, to change staging and improve staging uh, uh, overall. The, the second thing is um, some, of, some of the studies, particularly, particularly the United Kingdom studies, take into account all, uh, all multidisciplinary teams. Um, now we have a mix of specialist centers uh, as, well as, uh, as well as local hospitals, uh, kind of district general hospitals, which treat more varieties of tumors. And the results in terms of improvement come from both, from both groups and therefore uh, there is evidence to suggest that both, um, that, that both factors contribute to that. But it highlights one of the key problems in, in this area. Just a show of hands in the audience. How many people in the audience run their cancer patients through a multidisciplinary tumor board? So maybe a third, if even. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.